Hello, I'm here to talk to you about how to create a homeschool account for your child on the program Think Through Math. This is the program that um, we often use here at schools to help find and close in gaps in students learning and understanding in their math. Um, so what it does is it looks for areas from previous grade levels where students may have forgotten or just not quite mastered a certain skill or concept and helps them to work on those and build their way back up to their current grade level of understanding. And so we're going to do a couple things. First, we're going to look at how to create an account on here and then how to set up a pathway for your child. Uh, the website is www.thinkthroughmath.com. Okay, so www.thinkthroughmath.com. And this is the part that's a little bit strange. Um, and it may be because mine is already set to automatically log in when I press this login button. So yours may react differently. But I'm actually not going to use this login button here. But instead, scroll down to the bottom of the home page. And down here at the very bottom, it says login down here. So I'm going to choose this login button right here. And it's going to bring you to a typical login screen where you enter a username, email, or password. Now, since you haven't set up an account yet, this won't work. So you notice right here it says don't have an account, sign up. So you're going to click right here on this hyperlink. And here you'll choose parent. You're going to type in some basic information here. Um, I actually already have a home account, so I'm going to use my wife's alias to help create one of these so you can see how this is done. So enter in your basic information. Okay, I click the box where you've read and agreed to the terms. Go ahead and sign up. Alright, so if you've done it correctly, you should get a welcome screen here uh, telling you thank you for signing up. Um, and so they're going to send an email with additional information on how to s finish setting up your account. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to her email and hopefully it'll be there. went to her junk mail. There you go. So if you don't find it in your inbox, it's probably in your junk mail. Um, and you'll need to go here and it says please click here to finish setting up your account. So we're going to do that. Since I have it set up as junk mail, I didn't block that. Alright, and so um, here it's going to ask for a little bit more information. Okay, and once you give it that information, um, now you should get to the welcome screen. And this welcome screen is going to talk you through um, whether or not your student already has a username and password, which y'all's will not, um, and if they do not have one, how to go about setting them up. Okay, so um, even though your child is attending high scholars Math academy, remember their list is preparatory, which means it's similar to being the same as a homeschool student. Okay, um, so we're going to register a new student. Okay, and so we're going to come back here to add a student. And we're going to register a new student. So click on the register new student bubble. Okay. So we're going to register, register that student. Select their current grade level that they're working at. Now this program primarily works on grades 3 through 8 um, for homeschooling. So we're going to do three, 3, and you'd probably want to choose homeschool student. If you choose public school, then they're going to ask for an ID number that you won't have. So just choose homeschool student, and then you can say what district they're a part of. Um, even though you can put Red Oak ISD if you'd like, since they're part of Ice Scholars. Or if you just want to put your local area that you live in uh, district, that's fine too. check the box saying you're authorized to view their information and choose add. 
Okay, so at this point, it's going to provide your child with the username and password. Okay, here you can view reports, uh, look at their activity, take them out if you need to remove that student. Okay, um, and this is going to give you some general help and support. So this takes you to some tutorial videos that can help you with the program. Uh, there's some technical support here if you need it. Uh, some parent webinars you can watch. Different contests your kids can get involved in. All right, but our next step is we want to add um, lessons for this child to, to work on, right? So I'm going to go here to lesson activity. All right. Um, actually, that's not correct. Let me go back to home. Okay, so once you've created your student and they're in here, then the next thing you want to do is jot down what their username and password is. Because at this point, you're going to go to student login, and you're going to type in that username and password for your child, and they're going to log in. Once they do that, that brings them to their home screen. And so this thing, because you already assigned what grade level your child was working at, has already created a placement test for them to take that's built for that particular grade level. And so your child will simply, simply click start. It'll take them into the placement test. They'll go through and answer as many questions as they can until they get to the end of it. Um, and then once that's complete, then it will build them an individual pathway um, of content for them to currently work on. Some things will be at grade level, some things may be below grade level, depending on areas on the placement test where they show they were strong or where they were struggling. Um, and so then they can start working through their pathway uh, to work on closing those gaps. Uh, the child can make this a little bit more fun and motivating by earning points as they go through their lessons and they can redeem those points to buy things for their avatar if they want to dress up their avatar um, or they can donate points to certain charities which will donate actual real money to those charities um, it's like 10,000 points for a dollar um, for the different charities and they can like I said earlier enter in contests to compete with other um, homeschool students or other students in the area so um, lots of different things to help them get motivated but the goal here is of course for them to uh, go through their pathway and really try to find their where they're struggling and try to work on improving that now what's great about this program is it does have both built-in text support as well as um, live teacher support where they can get um, live chat with an actual certified teacher and get help on uh, content that they're struggling with if they need it um, so uh, Lots of great uses or great applications for this program. So I'd love for you guys to um, sign up your child today and, and get them started and, and maybe try to complete three to five lessons a week and just kind of see how that goes from there. See that um, if you see that it's helping your child. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Thank you.